So we want you to really t encourage not taking a vacation. And so all the managers here in this office, I recommend having a sign like this, and no calls, no emails, no texts, no kidding. <laughs> Enjoy your boss. So let's look at it from two viewpoints. I'm going to actually break this down a bit because I think it's important enough and talk about what does a supervisor need to do and what does an employee need to do in order for the vacation to actually be what, what we're wanting it to be, to be a fully energized and decompressing non-work. That's the whole purpose of vacation is not to work. But sometimes what happens is you come back and you're so overwhelmed by what's going to occur that next week that sometimes you'll do a little bit each day so that when you come back, it's not as intense. And yes, that makes sense, but it's also undermining your vacation and undermining what actually could be restorative for you. So let's talk about supervisors. What can they do in supporting vacations? There are specific steps all of you can do as supervisors. Urge your employees to take all their vacation days. If they have unused vacation days, urge them to take it. Don't disrupt or interrupt why the person's on vacation. So have agreement and have a discussion ahead of time and say, how do we set this person up for success so that when they're on vacation, they won't be disrupted, they won't be interrupted. Identify backup team members for support. So who could be the go-to person that you train, you give feedback on, maybe one of your direct reports, and you let them be the point of contact for that entire week you're gone. Don't change dates of an already booked vacation. Sometimes managers can do that. And sometimes that's, that's necessary if there's like a really, really, really important deadline that has to be done. But ideally, you want to come from the mindset is, these are booked vacations and I want to honor them. And provide time to catch up upon returning from work. So you're back to wor work and you're resuming your routine, routine. I think it's a really smart idea and I've seen my clients do it to great success is let's say you come back on a Monday. Well, that Monday should not be filled with meetings. You should have a meeting-free day where all you get to do is check your email and catch up on your projects. And that point of contact, a direct report you might have um, encouraged to take over and be the support person, have them be the support person for the rest of the week when you come back or for at least a few days, so that you can focus on just transitioning into your week. 